Okay, the next thing we want to do is change the title for our screensaver. In this uh, screensaver starter kit uh, documentation page has the code that we're going to need to cut and paste into our form to make that change to the title. So we're going to scroll down uh, till we hit a piece of code here in a section called Making a Quick Change to the Source. Here we highlight this code that was already gray, gray barred for us. We do a control C. Then we go over to the Solution Explorer window and click on right click on Screensaver Form and click on View Code. This at the top is like an outline of the code. A high level. So we click on the general tab and click on save uh, a screensaver form. Then here's a more detailed level in the declarations. We want to place this code into the on paint method, on paint subroutine uh, of the screensaver form. So when we clicked on that, that brought us to the on paint method. So I click at the end of the line and hit a carriage return and then I do a control V to paste that code that we had copied. And this is where we'll change the title instead of putting my name I'm going to put idealprogrammer.com Then I'm going to go up to the green arrow to compile and click on that to compile and run the screensaver. I could have pressed F5. And this uh, title is going to show up in, here in the right uh, upper left hand corner. And it should say idealprogrammer.com screensaver. And there it is. So that worked great. Now what we want to do next is change the background images for the screensaver. So I'm going to move my cursor and that terminates the uh, screensaver. I'm going to go over to my project under uh, screensaver. I need to change some options. Uh, so I get, click on debug here. It allows me to set a command line argument of slash C, which uh, allows me to uh, modify the options. And then when I run the program, I'll be able to change the background images. And here's what happens after I ran the program. I, I, here I can browse for background images. I could also change the RRS feed there if I wanted to pick up the weather. Uh, from if I know a website that delivered the weather. So I'll click on big cities. Click OK. Maybe a OK. And then I'll uh, click apply. OK. Then I'll run my screensaver again and we should see Oh, first I'll take out this argument of uh, C in the debug screen. I could put slash S for show, but I'm going to leave it blank. I could put P for pre slash P for preview. I'm going to leave it blank. Now we run the screen saver. We should see cities in the background when it starts running. There's another way to do this through the control panel. Linux. It did have cities. I hope I didn't move it too fast for you to see the cities. But there, there were cities in the bag. So now we go over to the control panel. Uh, start control panel. We go to display. Double click that. And then we go to screen saver. And then if we go into settings, I have uh, uh, this set to the screensaver for what I'm using. 
that same screen would have come up. So that's another way we could have changed the background images. But I don't. Uh, so we click OK. Final thing we want to do is uh, install the screensaver on our computer. To do this, we click on this uh, little icon with all the disk on it to save all the project. We'll call it Screensaver 4. I've done this before, obviously. Click on Save. Saves everything. We could have gone to File, Save. Save All. That would have done the same thing. The next thing we want to do is build build the application, make sure we have it uh, there. Then we want to go down and navigate to where the files are kept. And I have mine going to uh, my documents Visual Studio 2005 projects screensaver 4 we're going into the bin directory we're trying to get the executable which is held in the debug folder we need to rename this so I'm right clicking on it the executable we want to rename that to screen so window SCR so Windows will know that this is a screensaver okay then after we change the name we can right click on it and say install and I can select it actually this one's called screensaver 2 even though the folder was 4 so that's correct then I click on preview and it is, it is installed. And there it is. Thank you very much for watching. Okay, let's do a quick recap of what we covered. First we saw how to find other starter kits that we could download. And then we ran the screensaver in its original form. Then we modified the title. We put that idealprogrammer.com and then we re-ran the screensaver to make sure that that showed up. The next thing we did, we used the options panel to modify the background images. I put big city pictures in the background. And the final thing was install the screensaver. Thanks.